Hi there, Cheryl Lynn with Makeup University. Thanks for joining me today. I have a book review for you. I loved it. I got this yesterday. I read it on one sitting and not because I'm a speed reader, but because it was so good. This is Sex and the Single Christian Girl, Fighting for Purity in a Rom-Com World by Marion Jordan Ellis. And it's just a wee little book. Mine's all dog-eared up. But this is why I loved this, is because it is part her personal story and also part workbook about what you can do. Take it from me, trying to stay pure and modest in this modern day world can be a challenge. So I love it that she says in a rom-com world because rom-com is short for romantic comedy and you and I both know what happens in a romantic comedy. Girl meets boy, they fall in love, they fall into bed, they have sex, then they have a problem, then by the end of the movie they all make up and it's a happy story. But that's not what happens in real life. In real life, when you have sex outside of the covenant of marriage, you pick up some soul ties, a little bit of baggage, and it's not so good. So I really enjoyed the book. It's all dog-eared up, and there's a couple of things I wanted to share. Uh, first of all, I love the quote she has in here, I want the fairy tale, because so do I. What girl doesn't want the fairy tale? The next thing I love is she brings up the word cherish. She says that most vows contain the three words, love, honor, and cherish. Now, all of us are familiar with love and honor, but when's the last time you really used the word cherish? I don't know about you, but I get butterflies at the thought of somebody cherishing me. So that was awesome. And she says, intrinsic to a woman's nature is the longing for covenant love, not lust, not one night stand, not a month long relationship, but actual covenant love. Deep within the heart of a woman, she desires to be chosen for someone to love, honor, and cherish her till death do they part. Ah, it's so good. Okay, let's move on. Let's get back to 176. It's all dog-eared because something that happens when you have a sexual relationship outside of marriage, you form a soul tie with that person. That's why sex is so important to a marriage because it's God's way of bonding the two of you together. So when you go bond with just about anybody who will walk slow, I don't mean that to be harsh, I mean that to be truthful. When you give up your purity and the prize that you are to someone, you make a soul tie. But guess what? Right here, she has put in a very simple prayer that you can say, say out loud, say it in your heart, just walk through this template right here. And it says, Father, I ask in Jesus' holy name that you break any soul tie that exists between me and fill in the blank. And if there's more than one person, Make two blanks, make three blanks, make as many blanks as you need. Ladies, if you're already married and you've never broke soul ties with Bob, Joe, and John, it's okay. Pray the prayer. It'll still work. Girls, this will work. Uh, trust me. If you're having a challenge, contact me. I'll walk you through it. Okay, so let's keep moving because there's so much stuff packed in this book. Okay, let's get to the back because we have to wrap this up. I don't like it to be too long. Um, I like here on page 182 or 184, it says, speak up. Cherished ones, the first thing you must do is decide today, right now, right now, what your emotional and physical boundaries are. Because you know what happens? You get out there, you're on a date, he's cute, maybe you had a glass of wine, whatever happens. The next thing you know, you go from being pure and modest too, if you're out on a date and you haven't already said, the line stops here, pal, then you'll cross that line yourself and most likely in a run and a rush and you'll do something you didn't plan to do. No fault on you. Let's just train yourself to have a boundary set in your mind right now of what is gonna be pure and modest for you. And so, you know, it could be hand holding, it could be an arm. Um, I just think that you gotta set that boundary before you even step out of your own door. So, there's so much in here. This book was featured in Nicole's Project Inspired book club. Check out her website, projectinspired.com. See if you can get in on some of the chats. And I'm definitely asking her, this wonderful author, to do a guest post for Teen Week. Because girls, this is not a book. This is a life manual, and I think you'll benefit from it. Details on how to get it will be below and also on the Makeup University vlog. Hey, you guys, I sure love you. Big hug. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Okay, I look forward to seeing and talking with you soon. I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University, and remember, you look really gorgeous today.